afternoon, Boston. Have you been to the colliery again? Has been, or hasn't been, that is the question. I'll take that as a yes, then. Oh, um, Mr. Cardio wanted me to give you a message. He says he wants to see you at the sheds after you've taken your train. Important job, apparently. Important job, eh? What is it? Well, if I knew what it was, I would have told you, wouldn't I? Oh, right. Was there any specific reason for that or...? Yeah, he said he wanted to keep it between himself and you. Right. I thought they caught those dealers years ago. Right on time, banker. Now, this job... I hope I'm not underestimating your intelligence, but are you familiar with the Telehin Railway? I am. From what I've heard, it's a preserved railway. Run for fun, like. Good, good. Now, the job. They're sending a piece of engineering down early tomorrow, and you're going to take it to the works. It'll be early in the morning, so you'll get it done early too. Hang on. A piece of engineering? What kind? A steam engine? I can't go into too much depth about that, but anyhow, me and the controller taught once, and I mentioned I had a growing workshop, so we struck a deal, and since uh, this piece of engineering needed repairs, it could be transported by one of our engines. And uh, that's where you come in. Okay, I'll do it, sir. Good, I trust in you, Bunker. I know my father did too. I still want to know what it is under I'll give you a hint. It's red. What a great hint. So I'm looking for something red. What would they have that's red? Sir Hayden, number three. And who might you be? Oh, hello there. Oh, Bunker. Bunker? Um, forgive me for saying so, but that's quite an odd name. Hmm. Oh, you can say that again. I shall be looking forward to our journey then. Bunker. Uh, bunker. At first I thought it would be Boston Lodge I'd be sent to, but I'd be happy to do your controller a good turn. I haven't had many myself recently. <coughs> Where I come from, there's walls made out of slate and houses. The walls aren't made of houses, but the walls are made of slate. It's a very key difference. To the two. I did everything with slate in those days. That's the reason there's so many narrow gauge railway lines, isn't it? Yes, quite frankly. Wales is full to the brim of slate. Your line is so peculiar. Doesn't sound good, Bunker. You'll have to stop. Likewise. Sorry, Bunker, but there's something wrong with your injector. It's not turning. It must be jammed. You're having me on. Actually, no. No, it's not. The matter of the whole affair is that you stopped for fun. Take it from me, Bunker. This sort of thing is irritating. Wait a minute. I have an idea. How far is the next station from here? It's about, I'd say, a hundred yards. Not really that far. Well, you could try and struggle there with whatever you've got left in you. I think number two did something like that once. That'd be too risky. So what if it is? Have you any better ideas? Hmm? All your shed mates are working. I think there's a chance you could do it. Right, so I will. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Come on, Bunker. Not far now. Please change your name. He 
Yes. Well done, lad. Very well done. Smart job, Bunker. You see, his injector was a bit stiff, that's all. Try it now, or have your money back. How's that? Brilliant. There you are, Bunker. Full tank. Let's get going. It'll be too late otherwise. Too late? How so? My controller said I had to get this job done early, otherwise you'd attract too much attention. Me? Attract attention? <laughs> You're a real joker, you know that. <laughs> uh, uh, never been one for attention. At least, not positive attention anyway. We can't have this happening on a regular basis, Sir Hayden. We already have enough trouble with Dolgok. I can hear you, you know. So what's going to happen to me? Until we have enough money to make the necessary repairs to you, you'll have to stay in the shed from now on. Oh. Right. I understand. I promise you, you'll be back in good order soon enough. As soon as we can afford it, that is. Well, here we are, Sir Hayden. Sir Hayden? Right! Okay, okay. Hmm. Were you asleep just then? You haven't spoken in a while, like. Oh, yes, yes, I've been asleep. I just closed my eyes and then I dozed off. <laughs> <laughs> the crane will unload you in a bit. By a bit, he means a few hours. Hang on, Sir Hayden? From the Tally Lynn? No. Joseph Hayden. Um, Bunker, before you go, can I, can I just tell you something? Go on then. I wasn't actually sleeping. I was thinking about the last time I came off the rails. I used to do that a lot when I came to the Talaclin Railway. How come? Uh, my wheel treads. They're trying to make me a better engine now, though. That's good. Well, I'll see you again sometime. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much for getting me here. Goodbye, Bunker. <sighs> so how did everything go with Sir Hayden, then? All right, I suppose the only thing that really happened was that my injector went faulty. But we sorted that out. Rubbing his jinx onto you, eh, Bunker? See where I'm getting at? His jinx? Just because he derailed a few times doesn't make him a jinx. And anyway, that wasn't magic. It was just his wheel treads. Oh. Mr. Cardio told me he wouldn't tell you it was Sir Hayden in case you refused to take him for that very reason. It would have failed, then. I never even knew he was a jinx until he said to me himself... Come to think of it, how do you know? My SV is an intelligent man. Your aspirations don't sound too thrilling, Boston. <sighs> We're going to take you in now, Sir Hayden, before we close for the night. Oh, good. Not sure if you know, but since my ticket is out, how long might he be out of action for? Can't say for certain. Uh, might be over a year if these notes and diagrams are anything to go by. Oh. Well, on one hand, my railway needs all the motor power it can get. On the other, I'd rather not curse him with my presence again. Well, aren't you the Debbie Downer? Huh? <laughs> <laughs>